questions for Evan Fournier. Dan Savage, OrlandoMagic.com. Evan, what did, what did you see out of the team's uh, energy and focus level in the first half on the defensive end? And, and you know, how much may have that uh, put you guys in a hole tonight? I thought it could have been better in the first half, to be honest. Um, kind of similar to uh, Boston. You know, we, uh, I mean, I don't want to keep repeating myself, but, you, you know, we, we, we have some guys injured. Uh, and, you know, losing is not easy. And, uh, you know, it, we, we can't let that affect us and you know it's it's uh it's hard to play through that but we um we have to do more than just play harder we have to get after it do you know what i mean like there's a slight difference and when we do get after it on every possession you know we put ourselves in a good spot i mean you know we fought through in that second half uh, you know against a very good team and you know we really competed against them and i feel like that's really the only way where we can come out with, you know, a victory. You know, when you look at Brooklyn, we fought extremely hard for 48 minutes, pretty much, and we put ourselves in a good position. And that's 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 what we need to do. You know, it's no secret. Josh Robbins, The Athletic. I mean, what did you see with the turnovers in the first half? It was a mix of a, of a bad decision. Denver, you know, playing well, playing, playing good defensively, but us not not being ready for that. And, uh, you know, some stuff, honestly, you know, maybe just two or three, out, you know, out of the the first 10, it was just a uh, foul that weren't called, uh, to be strictly honest. But um, it was a huge problem. Obviously, it's, it's an obvious. Uh, Chris Osaltis, Sport DNA. Did you describe the mood in the locker room after that game? Well, uh, the fact that we have a game tomorrow, I think uh, we're moving on already. But, I mean, we're all obviously disappointed. Um, like I said, it's not easy uh, going through what we are going through with all the injuries and, uh, and uh, you know, all the rumors surrounding the team and all that. But, you know, I feel like, uh, you know, the, 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 the guys that's been been here, you know, co co core guys, we've been together for, for, a, lot, for, for a while. And so, you know, we, we do trust uh, each other and, you know, we love playing with, with each other. It's just a matter of uh, put everything, you know, behind us and just look forward and, 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 and fight. Dan Savage, OrlandoMagic.com. Evan, Chief put together, you know, one of his, his strongest games uh, of the season. You know, what, what did you see out of him, his energy level? And, and is he looking, you know, more and more comfortable since, you know, coming back from his injury? Yeah, Chief is playing uh, better and better. He has, uh, I mean, you can tell he starts to physically feel better. So I'm glad to see that. He he was aggressive tonight, attacking closeout and just not selling for uh, jumpers. And, uh, you know, he he's an NBA vet that has had a strong career. And it's good to finally see him, you know, getting back healthy. And uh, we're going to need him uh, moving forward. Josh Robbins, The Athletic. Kevin, in the last 36 hours or so, it's been reported that Aaron wants to trade. Uh, how tough is, if at all, is that to deal with in the locker room? It, it's actually not tough at all because um, we honestly don't even talk about it because, you know, we have to uh, do our job first. You know what I mean? So I think it's more of a like a preparation, uh, like how to prepare yourself for the game. Uh, like I said, there's there's you know, a lot of rumors out there about, you know, actually multiple players on this team, like four or five. And uh, if if we do let that affect us individually, like if I let rumors about myself get to me, then I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be able to perform the way I want to. And and that's where it can get a little tricky. But I feel like, you know, with each other, you know, there's there's nothing but love and respect. Uh, you know, we've been there. Uh, I mean, we, you know, Aaron and I, <laughs> it's been, what, six years? So, you know, whatever ha happens to Aaron, you know, I'm, I'm 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 gonna be cool with it, and you know I'm uh, I hope he stays, obviously. But uh, you know we we'll see about that. But um, th there there is no there is no friction at all uh, in the locker room with that, not at all. Any final questions? Thank you, Evan. Uh, good night. Good night.